Hello everyone, this is Michael Waldridge at the World It's Organ, welcoming you to another Scott Soiree. I'm indebted to all the team at the Scottish Cinema Organ Trust for so kindly inviting me to put together this second programme of music for us all to enjoy during the current lockdown situation. It's sad to think of our mighty theatre pipe organs all around the country sitting in darkened buildings and without us able to go to hear them at the moment, but at least we have the next best thing, with some recordings to enjoy. And this time I've chosen recordings of a few different instruments, all of which obviously I hope you'll enjoy. Some of these are from concert recordings, so do bear with me if there's the odd wrong note or funny sound or someone having a good cough in the background, but I think you'll hopefully enjoy the selection of music. And we kick off with music arranged by my teacher, the wonderful Scottish organist Bobby Pagan. It's a medley of music from one of my favourite musicals or musical films. Actually, I've never seen the stage version of the show, other than a video from many years ago of my wife playing the lead role in the show. But I've never seen it as a live stage performance, but a wonderful musical called The Desert Song. This is recorded on the Singing Hills World. It's uh, in fact the larger of the two instruments at Singing Hills because we have a little two manual five rank Wurlitzer organ that when it first came to this country was at the Regal Cinema in Colchester. And then alongside that we've built a much bigger Wurlitzer. At the time of this recording it was three manuals and 19 ranks of pipes. In fact now it's been enlarged up to three manuals and 23 ranks of pipes. So a very large and very glorious instrument which since the enlargement has had lots of tonal finishing work which has made it really gorgeous to enjoy. The Desert Song.
Music from The Desert Song, as arranged by my teacher, Bobby Pagan. Bobby was the most marvellous tutor to me, because not only was he a a wonderful theatre organist, but he was a great arranger, conductor and composer. And many times our lessons would actually be as much about that as about actually how to play the organ, which has served me in good stead for my career, where I spent a lot of time working in orchestra pits and arranging things for other musicians to play. We're going to move on to one of Bobby's compositions next. It's a beautiful piece of music called Celtic Snapshots, so very much takes us back to his home roots of Scotland. And at the time it was written, it was the shortest suite of music that had ever been composed. Three movements, totalling just under three minutes. I'm not sure if it still holds that record or not, but certainly it did at the time it was written. I thought it would be nice to give you a more orchestral look at it. So this is a recording of me playing Celtic Snapshots actually on a big Yamaha, a Yamaha HX3. So a very orchestral sounding organ, perhaps taking the idea of a theatre organ as an instrument that replaces an orchestra, modernising it by using the same idea but with more modern technology. The first movement is called An Early Dawn and we hear the sounds of Scotland waking up in the morning with the mists rising across the moors and the sound of a little bird singing towards the end of the movement. We then go into the very quick fiddles and flutes, a lively Scottish reel in the middle, and then the whole thing finishes up with a movement much broader sounding called A Glimpse of the Glen. So I hope you enjoy a few moments in Scotland, Celtic snapshots. Celtic Snapshots, composed by Bobby Pagan, and played there on a Yamaha HX3. 
As I said, much of my time with Bobby was spent learning how to musically direct concerts, dances and shows. And this next piece of music is one that I learnt from working on a show. One of the very first ones I did was called As Happy As A Sandbag, a sort of wartime compilation show. And during the show, there was this wonderful moment where one of the younger performers, Steve Pannell, leant up against the proscenium arch in the theatre wearing his uniform and sang this beautiful song, I think. It's called I Left My Heart at the Stage Door Canteen. I think it's a fabulous piece. And here's a recording of me playing it on a world which sadly is no longer in existence as such, although parts of it are playing all around the country. The three manual 19 rank Wurlitzer at Wurlitzer Lodge in Northolt, the home of Les and Edith Rule, of course, wonderful organist Lem Rule's parents. <laughs> I left my heart at the stage door canteen on the beautiful Wurlitzer Lodge, Wurlitzer Organ. After the time came to sell that fabulous instrument, various parts of it went to different places and some of the reed work went to another very, very fine Wurlitzer in the northeast of England, the instrument at the new Victoria Centre in Howden Lewere. And that's where we're going next, with two tunes to celebrate the fact that this week was the 70th birthday of wonderful musical superstar Stevie Wonder, So we have two of his hit songs, For Once in My Life and Isn't She Lovely.
from Howden Le we're now headed back north to Glasgow to the Scottish Cinema Organ Trust's own fabulous Wurlitzer organ. But when it was in its previous home at Clydebank Town Hall, of course it was smaller then, three manuals and 13 ranks, but still a superb sound. And this is a recording of a concert I played there way back in 2003, but again it lets you hear the sound of that wonderful instrument. And a medley that's connected with one of the many shows that I've worked on, and in fact one of the shows that I've loved for all of my life. It used to be on the television for 21 years. The black and white minstrel show topped the TV charts. And I used to watch it with my grandmother actually on the television quite often. And in fact, it was the first show that my mum took me to see in the West End at the Victoria Palace. And I still remember all the glitz and the glamour of the show, even though I was only about seven, I think, at the time. Once I started working, I was thrilled to be able to work with many of the stars of the Black and White Minstrel Show, and I've done tours with them, I've done summer seasons, Christmas shows, so it's been a big part of my life. The wonderful minstrel repertoire, with their themed medleys, 10 to 15 minutes long at a time perhaps, or the music of Al Jolson, or some spirituals arranged in a swinging style. This next medley was a regular feature of the show. The girl dancers would come on one at a time whilst the minstrels sang the song about their names. So lots and lots of songs with girls' names in. And of course it was an ever-changing medley, but it always had a slight shape in as much as it would usually start with a snippet of Thank Heaven for Little Girls. And then we'd go through the various girls' names, and then the finale would be everyone on stage for that fabulous song, Mame. Thank you. 
hope you recognised all of my girlfriends there. We kicked off with For It Was Mary. Then we had Lulu's Back in Town. The very soft and sweet I Dream of Jeannie with the light brown hair. Oh Susanna. One that catches some people out actually. The next one, the little sort of rumba tune is called Lindy Lou. My Lindy Lou. 
Then we had Sally. Of course, memories of Gracie Fields along the way there with Sally. Sweet Georgia Brown. And finishing up, as I say, the medley always did, with Mame. And in fact, that brings us more or less to the end of today's broadcast as well. I really hope you've enjoyed hearing my various musical treats from over the decades. And thanks once again to the Scottish Cinema Organ Trust for inviting me to put together this programme for you. And thanks also to Martin Simpson and Frank Walker for some of the recordings that I've included today. As ever, I leave you with the series signature tune, The Cock of the North, and it's thanks for listening and bye for now from me, Michael Baldridge. (laughs) 